Perfect. We are back with Fight Scene in a Day. We are Strike Fight Company, a team of fight directors, fight choreographers, and we love making fight scenes. We are trained professionals and we are using specialized weapons to do this. So please do not try this at home. We have set ourselves the challenge of filming a fight scene in a day. We have 12 hours. Let's see how we do. Okay guys, as normal, we are going to be completely random. We have no idea who's doing what. So first up is the camera, and the camera operator is... Adam! Oh, hey! Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, so that means the next one is the choreographer. So the choreographer is going to be... Me! Oh, Ooh. you're back! Uh, Fighters are Josh and, and Jack. Jack. Oh, BTS yeah. is the brilliant Mel, and the weapon is broadsword. Yes! We have twelve hours from. As we were walking in, we saw loads of sections that were really beautiful. Mm. We're kind of planning to do a bit of a chase, and then we need to think of something that will stop them. Yeah. Basically, why do they stop running and turn to fight? Does someone try and hide because they're tired, and then yeah. someone catches up to them? There's lots of places we can hide. He's going like this. If I go here, you're not there. You're not there. <laughs> just, just blocking it. Shadow reverse grip. Can you, yeah? <laughs> first move is kind of one of the most important, not just for us as fighters, like the characters, but also for the audience, because you're kind of setting the tone for where the fight's going to go. So where this fight is a chase scene, it's going to be full of kind of perilous moments, it's quite nice to kick off with a perilous moment because then everyone's on board. What I'm going to do is a thing called a Molinello, swinging it across myself and then rotating it up. So it allows me to really build some momentum behind this strike. And that kind of tells the story that we're selling this as if I think that that one move might well be the final move. Of course it gets parried and that's where we move on. But that's why that first move is so crucial. So it's like down, spin, slash. Okay. Maybe if I go... Oh! Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, I thought you both go for something. Jack, you commit more and Josh, you go for the drop. <laughs> oh. So what's super, super important when you're fighting in film is um, to stay super, uh, really close to make it look like you can actually get them. Do you want this like bent arm here? So like you can see both my arms are bent. So if I was to actually straighten them, it would go straight through Adam. But my safety is I'm going to stop just there every time. Adam looks like he's got an idea. No, I was thinking about to have a look because I'm filming it. I might go over there and have a look at what I'm going to film. Oh, can yeah. I check it out? I'm just going to leave you guys. Let's go. Bye. I'm off my own. <laughs> so I have wandered away from the group there they are because I am going location scouting okay guys I've been off on my own for a few minutes now on my location scouting mission and I'm really pleased with it I've done the uh, I've done a little bit of planning for the initial chase scene I'm thinking this location right here Nice big fallen tree. Look at that mist in the background. If I also show you over here, look how misty it is. You just don't get this fog that often. So we're going to take full advantage of it. And uh, I'm thinking we're going to have Jack and Josh running through here. Josh hiding just about there and Jack stalking him from this side. I've also got a very interesting camera shot planned, which I 
not sure is even possible. But I'm going <laughs> to explain it to everyone else. Hopefully they can help with the logistics of that. And hopefully we can do something very cool and a little bit clever. Check in with you in a bit. Just chant it. Krillin chant? Yeah. I was thinking the same thing just now. <laughs> I, did a, I did a Krillin chant earlier. These are the Krillins, by the way. <laughs> Therefore, Krillin shunt that. Nice. I think you're just going to straight for a decapitation. Yeah. Thing It's about trying to make the fight as comfortable for the actors as possible. So if I choreograph my style, that's very different to how Jack naturally moves and how Josh naturally moves. And because they're both very good fighters, I work with them to build their natural movement into the fight. So that's why you'll see me asking a lot of the times like, oh, what do you think would come next? Because their bodies naturally know, well, my body wants to do this. My body wants to attack this. And that's how you can easily create a fight. I think I actually want like, almost you to get the upper hand and then finally the villain to win because the villain hasn't won in a while and I'd love to get like a few like pommel hits like a few like almost like ripping like legs apart kind of idea mm. so it's a lot more mm. like there's a lot more <laughs> hits and you'll take a lot more damage yeah I think there needs to be another section where you try and run away but I think you need to get injured before you try and run again crack a rib and then I have to almost cover oh that's cool can you do one of these ones yeah. reinforce reinforce, reinforce drop bang, bang. Yeah. Nice. Blah, blah. Run, run, run. Yeah, you can catch him. Look at that. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's going to be like that. Come straight in with a head. And then you're coming straight in for his back. At this time, yeah, instead yeah. of going, you're just going to go like that. Sometimes in TV and film, you do <laughs> something because it looks cool. Not because it makes any logical sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. From where I want to film the yeah. section where Jack parries no. behind no. his own back, no, no, no. you then kind of miss the next move no. because no. his body's covering it, so I'll probably have to shift to the other side. Parry his hands away. Yeah, and then bring it straight back into a diagonal slash down. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like, just go for a straight bang. Into the knee? Does it, does it yeah. connect? Yeah, it does. Cool. Definitely. So I'm not going to make contact, I'm going to go past, like parrot style. Just then, what I said I was going to do to Jack was I said that I was going to parrot it, um, which obviously doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that there's a parrot on Jack's shoulder and I do what's called a displacement safety, where essentially I'm keeping Jack's face safe by displacing the target over here, right? But what should happen is as long as it's quick enough, it should look as if he's been hit in the face. I'm really aiming for the parrot. So that's why I called it a parrot, because I'm actually doing the exact same trick with the knee. What you should get is, which should look like I've crunched Jack straight in the knee. There's going to be another little bit of a chase. Josh runs away, Jack chases him down. We're trying to figure out what makes them go back into the fight. We've sort of discovered, if you have a quick look over here, there's some logs, which I think the plan is for Josh to jump over the log and land and turn and be ready to fight. So Jack still has to jump over the log, therefore Josh will be ready, he's got solid footing. Jack will be in the air, a bit wild. Action. <laughs> 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 I think I got fat ass. I think my arse has made a big dent in my shoes. <laughs> you come in. I come in the morning. Morphe slogan. It's his face, block it. And then get this quilling over. Yank. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> yeah. Do I die up against these logs? So you defend it. Then what do you want to do? Oh yeah, and then, yeah. then can you get it halfway in? He kind of goes limp and then goes bang. Push it all the way in. <laughs> the time, Mr. Wolf, is 12.44. We're about to put on some costume and start filming this thing. What time do we start? We start 10 at 10.30. So we've been going for two hours and that's actually really 14 good. minutes. And the fight's in a really, like, they've got the fight down. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I'm dirtying up my shirt. <laughs> it's not, it's really not really working. <laughs> so we have just rehearsed and we are about to film a very tricky camera shot. Esme was holding the camera in one hand and then as Josh approaches the tree and jumps over it, she passes it over. I take it away from her and move back. So we're trying to keep a nice long shot here. And um, if you can see oh, this massive tree here that we're essentially, Josh is jumping over and the camera is jumping over with him.
uh, I'm sort of in, uh, inspired by the scene in Sherlock Holmes' Game of Shadows. I'm running through the forest and there's bullets flying and there's bombs going off. Obviously, we've just got swords, but that's the kind of anxious feel I want for this for this shot. Hopefully, we can get it. Uh, did you know one of the people who worked on that shot of them running through the woods? For you YouTube fans, it was one of the slow mo guys. So I think I think we need a collaboration with the slow mo guys. Then. All right, cool. Yes, <laughs> slow mo guys, shout out. Come work with us. The sound to this yeah. is going to be the best uh, I have ever yeah. done. Really? Cool. Big talk. Now we're just about to do the last phase, I think, which is the really cool one where they all jump over the box and come down with a didn't have a big yeah. evil fight to do it. And action! That's what happened. Like perfect. Ho 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 ho! It's like a one in a million chance. That's very nice. It should be there. Cut. Adam? I think that's a wrap. Yes! Woo! Woo! My toes are no longer attached to my feet. <laughs> They're just rattling around in my socks like feet maracas. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider hitting subscribe. It would really help us out. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.